Biography of Napoleon Abueva Napoleon Billy Abueva is born on January 26, 1930, in Tagbalaran city capital of the province of Bohol Visayas Philippines and later died on February 16, 2018. He was known as the father of modern Philippine sculpture and proclaimed as a national artist for sculpture in 1976 when he was 46, making him the youngest recipient of the award to date. Ili Abueva, as he was fondly called, was born in Tagbalaran, Bohol, to Teodoro Loren Abueva, born in Duero, Bohol, and to a Bohol congressman and purification, Gonzalez Veloso, born in Cebu, president of the Women's Auxiliary Service. 1. Abueva had six other brothers and sisters, Teodoro Jr., Purification, Jose, Emilia Martinez, Teresita Floro, and Antonio. Born Isabelio Veloso Abueva, he was named after the younger sister of his paternal grandmother, Isabel. He assumed the name Napoleon at the age of six, when as a student at the St. Joseph Academy in Tagbalaran, one of the nuns first called him Napoleon after Napoleon Bonaparte. The name stuck, and ever since, Abueva referenced the quote from Napoleon, if I weren't a conqueror, I would wish to be a sculptor. Abueva graduated in high school at the Rafael Palma College, now the University of Bohol, in 1949. He earned his Bachelor of Fine Arts in Sculpture at the UP School of Fine Arts, now UP College of Fine Arts, UPCFA, in 1953 as one of the second batch of fine arts students who moved from the old campus in Padre Fora to Diliman. He was mentored by fellow national artist for sculpture Guillermo Tolentino. Through scholarship grants, he was able to pursue advanced studies abroad including one from Harvard University. He was married to Cherry Abueva, a psychiatrist, and had three children, Amahan, Malawan, and Duero. Before his stroke, he taught at the Industrial Design Department of the De La Salle College of St. Benilde School of Design and Arts. Abueva was confined at the National Kidney and Transplant Institute in Quezon City for pneumonia from December 31, 2017 until his death on February 16, 2018. His death was announced by News 5 reporter Mayan Los Baños on the radio program Belita Alas Cinco on Radio 5. He was 88. His remains were then brought to his final resting place at the Libingen ng MGA Bayani. Work Ethics Napoleon Abueva utilized almost all kinds of material in his art, from hardwood to adobe, metal, stainless steel, cement, marble, bronze, iron, alabaster, coral, and brass. He helped shape the local sculpture scene to what it is now, as he was an expert in both the academic representational style and modern abstract. Influence or Inspirations Abueva's inspiration in making sculptures comes from a range of sources, including popular mythology, history, and day-to-day -day life. In an interview he once said that, the artist must possess the inner drive, passion, and loneliness of a long-distance runner to go very far. Abueva's own style is at the same time incredibly varied and instantly recognizable. Many of his sculptures that now sit in public places in the Philippines and abroad convey a sense of realism with their intimately physical presence, lifelike forms and evocative gestures. For these, Abueva gets his inspiration from a range of sources, including popular mythology, history and day-to-day -day life. It is this aspect of his work that betrays an ongoing affinity with the work and style of his mentor, Guillermo Tolentino, whose oeuvre was monumental in its reverence for the classical school and ancient Greek sculpture. Difficulties encountered in his works. When the Second World War broke out he was a teenager, his parents were tortured and murdered by invading Japanese forces, an experience that led him to seek out creative outlets as a means of channeling his pain. Throughout his career Napoleon had several strokes that started on 1985 which he survived and kept making arts until 2018. A Documentary of Napoleon Abueva's Works Kagunapan, 1953 This is one of Napoleon Abueva's art it is sculpted out of marble in 1952 won the grand prize in the Arts Association of the Philippines annual competition. This sculpture interprets the female reproductive function as a fulfillment for women and the art used a various type of lines, shapes, texture, and forms. It is balanced and the emphasis of the art is a tummy of a pregnant woman. Historians say that Kagunapan is among Abueva's works that were inspired by Romanian artist Constantine Broncusi's abstract Malastra art. 
Rice Planters, 1993. This is also one of the the artworks Napoleon Abueva that tells. The farming takes a lot of time, energy and effort. A pair of farmers in triangular bamboo hats, bodies bending in half, as if one with the ground, planting rice plants. The arches on the back are elaborate and realistic, showing the posture and hard work of farmers that plants rice. The Sandugo or Blood Compact Shrine Monument found in Bo Ol district of Tagbalaran city is a landmark at the site of the first international treaty of friendship between Spaniards and Filipinos. Behind the monument is a magnificent view of Bohol Sea. Sandugo is a Visayan word which means, one blood. Pigpali, 1973, which means, homecoming, in the local Boholano language, is an exhibition paying homage to the renowned sculptor who is a native of the province. Organized by the National Museum of the Philippines, NMP, in partnership with the Abueva family, the exhibit shares the national artist's most comprehensive and significant works of art from his personal collection in Duero, Bohol and in Quezon City. Kiss of Judas, 1955, one of the star pieces of the auction, Kiss of Judas, was made by Napoleon Abueva in 1955, exemplifying a modern touch without losing an evocative quality. With 209 lots, the Kingly Treasures will be the biggest auction of Leon Gallery, proof that sellers and buyers just keep on coming. Siam na Diwada ng Signing, Nine Muses, 1994. The Hardin ng Mga Diwada takes its name from and hosts the Abueva sculptural piece, Siam na Diwada ng Signing. This reinforced concrete work represents the nine muses of art, architecture, dance, film, literature, music, painting, photography, sculpture, and theater. The nude muses, spread around atop a ring-like pedestal are rendered in various stances. Despite strong formal traces of neoclassical influences, their relaxed poses and generous gestures temper the usual severity that the tradition is known for. Awards of Napoleon Abueva First Prize Sculptural Exhibition by the Art Association of the Philippines, 1951 First Prize in the 5th Annual Art Exhibition, 1974 First Prize and Special Award on the 4th Sculptural Exhibition, 1952 Awardee The Unknown Political Prisoner In the International Sculpture Competition by the Institute of Contemporary Arts, London, 1953 First Prize and Special Award Kagunapan, Marble, in the semi-annual art exhibition by the Art Association of the Philippines, 1953, first prize, Kiss of Judas, Wood, in the religious art exhibition in Detroit, Michigan, USA, 1955, purchase prize, Water Buffalo, Marble, in the annual show, at St. Louis, Missouri, USA, 1956, first prize, Figure, Wood, in the annual show of the Art Association of the Philippines, 1957, most outstanding alumnus of the School of Fine Arts, UP Golden Jubilee, 1958, Republic Award for Sculpture, 1959, 10 Outstanding Young Men of the Philippines, TOYM, Awardee in Sculpture, 1959, Winner, UP Gateway Design Competition, 1962, Winner, Cultural Heritage Award, 1966, ASEAN Awards for Visual Arts in Bangkok, 1987, 4th ASEAN Achievement Award for Visual Arts in Singapore, July 1995.